Hey, this is Pete Hink with another uh, seagrass update, August 28th. Weather conditions were questionable. They had a lot of little uh, little storms coming through, little squalls, but uh, still managed to get out. First spot I went to was the trout spot. And that's an area that's like two to three feet of water. There's a lot of seagrass last time I was there. I saw a lot of snapper, a lot of bait fish. I was curious to see what I could see this time. With these storms moving through, the water wasn't quite as clear. Did see a lot of bait. There was a lot of bait around. I uh, didn't see the snappers, but I think it was just because of the water quality at that time. Still, the seagrass is doing well. It's about a foot and a half on average, and uh, shoal grass. And that's about all I saw, with some algae, but the uh, algae wasn't that bad. And um, overall, pretty happy with the conditions and everything. I like to get out there when the water's a little bit cleaner and clear and really take a good look at it. Then after that, I went to a spot off of Rosietta Island, and that is on the, uh, on the uh, western side of the island. And that area is about four to five to six foot in that range. So I'm kind of curious to see if any seagrass is going to be growing in that deeper water, which takes water, you know, it takes clarity. It takes, the sun has to get down there. I did see some Johnson seagrass growing last time. It was short. I was curious to see if it would be growing any any taller. Um, when I got there, I didn't see as much Johnson seagrass as I did the month before. Why? I'm not sure, but the length of it was about the same. I didn't see any growth on the, the seagrass that I did see there, and uh, I did see a lot of algae. And this algae is like drift algae. It floats. It's not embedded into the, uh, the seafloor at all. So if you get a big storm or stuff like that, it's all going to be washed somewhere. It's going to be pushed up. So um, one happy with the amount of uh, algae that I saw. And then uh, after that, here come the, uh, the squalls again. So did get quite a bit of rain and uh, it did come through and I had to basically duck in by the mangroves and wait before I could get to Black Point. And um, once I did make it to Black Point, I saw a lot of bait. There is, uh, you could tell there's, there's seagrass, there is seagrass around, but um, just how much, it's kind of hard to tell. The visibility was kind of like the last time I was there, it wasn't that clear, but yeah, a lot of a lot of seagrass and uh, all around, but tons of bait. And uh, while I was waiting for the get a little bit of sunlight, so I get a little bit of you know a little bit better uh, clarity, I did make a few casts with a rod, caught a trout, nice size little uh, sea trout, which is a good sign. Now they've, they've been kind of rare in the uh, lagoon as of late, but if the seagrass holds and keeps up, you're going to see a big rebound of the trout in the lagoon. They do need that seagrass for support, but uh, weather conditions could have been better. I wanted to check out some more spots, but uh, they had some more storms coming in and it wasn't looking too very favorable, but I do want to get up into Bavard County and check out areas out up there that I heard. Now on the way back, I did check one area. It looked pretty good. It looked like three to four feet of water. It's a lot of dark spots and some sandy spots and um, wanted to see what was going on. Did get into water, found out that about 95% of what I saw was algae. And it's just, it's just that yucky algae and uh, wasn't much seagrass at all in this particular area. But hopefully, uh, I don't know, hopefully uh, <laughs> the seagrass will be coming back. But I'd like to hear from you guys. If you guys know where there's some seagrass in the Inner River Lagoon, Hopefully, if there's any turtle grass or manatee grass, I would be really curious to see that. Uh, like I say, I think the majority of what we're seeing right now is the shoal grass, which is a precursor to all the others. And um, I'm hoping if it, we don't get a bad storm by next year, you know, we'll start seeing some of the more favorable uh, grasses, which is the manatee grass and the uh, turtle grasses. And let's hope. Let's hope. But um, this is Pete Hink. Until next time, we'll see you.